scheduling them like that. Yeah, it is. What's up? I'll turn the camera around here in just a few. Filth is here. We're going to start doing a crazy ass cleaning. You try lemon juice. Thank you. You thank you straight to hell. Is this just for members or is this for everybody? Everybody. What's up, everybody? What's up, Amy Bone? Swim mom from Wisconsin. I have a. <laughs> yeah, we got the camera way up on a tripod so that we can start. We're going to clean the whole house. Uh, we had talked about on other videos about uh, ADHD scheduling. Emily is ADHD, and we're going to try out a schedule for her. Um, but I wanted to get the house into a blank slate first so that she's worried. That she's more concerned about maintenance than catching up. And then basically the maintenance boils down to daily, weekly, monthly. So daily, she'd be in charge of dishes, countertops, clutter, um, vacuuming. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> Be quiet, it's just Jason, dumbass. Um, Dakota, move. Um, and that would take like an hour at most. And then once a week, she'd be doing the bathroom, um, vacuuming the whole house, and then the, with the regular stuff. And then monthly, it would be at windows. And that's about it. And I'm gonna go do the art room because the art room looks awful. There's Jason. Jason's here. Hey. <laughs> I wore my PJs when I was born. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> okay, I want to flip this camera around. Around. Whoops, I forgot on here. It's actually got a button. TikTok, you have to actually go into a menu, which sucks. This is what it looks like right now. The freaking disaster. So we'll start out by putting dishes away. And whoops, uh, the pots go there. And then pans go there. I'm going to start putting stuff in the pantry. The pants tree. Have you ever tried a pumice stone for cleaning water scale in a toilet? Um, no, but on really bad ones, it does help. Yep, this is our house. They're uh, helping me get situated with uh, getting the house back to like square one so I can maintain and not get overloaded. Yeah, this is definitely an oh look more dishes day. I actually had the dishes caught up and then um, we had a cookout for my mom. She's moving back to Minnesota. So um, yeah, we had a cookout for her. So we've got a bunch of dirty stuff now. Get a coffee maker. I just did my last brew shot. <laughs> Jenny Wolf asked, what level would you put this at? <laughs> it genuinely would be like a level two hoard. Like, and, and the, um, the art room and our downstairs closet, it's genuinely like level one or level two hoarding. And that's one of the reasons I want to get her on a routine because let's be realistic. I'm 49. I've got about 20 to 30 years of life left. And whenever I go, I don't want her slipping into hoarding. And that is very, very possible. And so after what I've seen and the nightmares that I've gone over, um, I'm seeing the signs before they're here. And so we are going to create new neural pathways in Emily's brain head. <laughs> My pumpkin is just, it's, a, it's on a different counter. I'll put it back when September starts. Like I don't really care about seasonality. I like pumpkins and I like teal. Did Beans go in the cupboard? <laughs> I think he did. Probably. He might be back out again, but I just saw a bunch of Beans, no! <laughs> yeah, I am incredibly thankful for Mac. 
Thank you. Dixie George, much love back. Uh, we're not, no, we're not separating. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> oh, uh, these are for you. They're sour watermelon. Oh. I don't know if you like them or not, but Emily didn't realize they were sour. Yeah, I was kind of upset. Then she was like, these suck. Let's give them to Jason. <laughs> <laughs> this is our house, Maria. Um, this is the Midwest Magic Clean House. Uh, Mac does a lot of work, and I have ADHD. It's hard for me to stay on track with stuff, especially this week. Um, starting Thursday, I am at a music festival volunteering. Uh, so the last few weeks have been, like, prepping with that. Um, we had a death in our community, which was a huge bummer, and that kind of messed up my mental health uh, a bit more than I was expecting it to do so, honestly. Um, it is, it's kind of, uh, y'all alternative, a little bit country, a little bit rock and roll. Um, the main goal of it is local bands. So, uh, most people are within a hundred mile radius of us, but a hundred miles of us includes like St. Louis and, uh, Nashville, maybe, you know, if you kind of stretch it quite a bit. Jason just likes cleaning with gloves. I know I am the same way if I'm in an unfamiliar area um, or even if it's just somebody's house like I go uh, to my own house too. I yeah. just, I'm a germaphobe at heart I feel like <laughs> big old wussy <laughs> honestly I personally the room that makes me feel the best about being decluttered is the bedroom um, one of the things that Mac has always done because uh, we both worked from home for a long time. Uh, there was a long period of time where I was working outside the home and he was working from home. Um, and one of the best feelings that I would get is when I would come home to a bed that was completely made and the kitchen or the bedroom looked really good. Step one's done, that was quick. I have a YouTube channel, but not for music events, um, and I haven't started started yet. So once that gets going, um, after September or like mid September, um, Mac will let you guys know because we're gonna be crafting. It's gonna be crafting. Yeah, clean sheets can solve like your whole mental outlook. <laughs> He'll get out. It's fine. Oh, is he in the bottom one? I think so. Beans. Hey, Beans. Where are you at? Oh. <laughs> get out of there. Come here. Bean, bean. Come on. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> he does that. Beans likes exploring. It'd be way funnier if it was <laughs> Yeah, I've had a lot of people on the membership lives ask if we could do, like, crafting and chatting, and so... I have to get to a set amount of subscribers before I can do lives. Um, but that's the end goal, is just to kind of hang out and craft together and, and chat. All of the trash in all rooms are full. So we'll have to make sure we're getting those. And I'm gonna take that to the curb too, so we'll have to walk all the way out to the road to put our crap away. Tell Johnny Kickass that the he is not old. I'm 49, and I will be 50 in October. <laughs> You're old. <laughs> Jenny, we're um, starting to travel beginning of, like in October. Um, our first over well, yeah, our first overnight clean. Um, we're collabing with some other YouTuber. Uh, cleaners, it's going to be really awesome. Um, so 
it's gonna be in the future, but it's not quite there yet. Max success has been phenomenal. Um, I've been, I mean, I've been with him through a lot. Um, when he started writing, he was incredibly successful. Um, so I, I didn't doubt that he was going to make something out of this, even if it was just a successful local business. Um, but I am super thankful for it. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure if he had mentioned names yet. <laughs> that trash is bad. None of that humidity is like the worst I've felt in years. Do you mean to put that on pure hot? Um, I didn't know if you're wanting to like let it soak for a while or not. Our hot is super hot hot. No, I wasn't sure, Evangeline, if he had if he had announced the collaboration yet and who uh, who we were doing it with. Yeah, turquoise is dope. I love turquoise. Jason is a very cool kid. <laughs> you're getting many compliments on your hair if you're not wearing your hat. Yeah, I was going to say, my beans in the wash. <laughs> Hatless Jason is serving. <laughs> yeah, I do the day-to-day -day cleaning generally, but um, I kind of suck at it. So we're going to help that not be a thing. Thanks for being a super fan, Cindy K. Yeah, Matt cooks. He's a really good cook. He's actually a really good baker. He does fantastic bread. Thank you, Auntie M. Love this channel and your family. Tell Phil he has amazing hair. Please keep doing what you're doing. Hopefully one day you make it out to Northern California. We don't have a dishwasher. Um, I haven't had one since I was like 15. I don't think Mac has ever had one. He has it, he was really young too. Um, I would like one, but it's fine. dishes are overwhelming, stack them correctly. <laughs> Davina says, I can't find the words to let Mac know how helpful he has been for my mental health. That's very sweet, Davina. There. Way less dishes whenever they're stacked the way they're supposed to be stacked. At least, like, up here, it's way less dishes. Okay. Now I would take a break for a second, shoot the shit with people, or shoot the poop. Shoot <laughs> the poop with people. And um, uh, here in a second, I want to get that countertop done, which is basically just putting chips away in the graham crackers and then kind of 
I don't know, cinching up everything to make it less tiled and more organized. And then I want to take the drinks and stuff out of these boxes and get those organized in some way too. She does use that, but hardly ever. I wish there was a place we could store that that's better. So we may pull everything out, sweep the dog hair, push that back in to where it's easy to slide in and out by itself. That way there's nothing in front of it and then put everything else to the side of it. Um, yeah, I wish, uh, I actually kind of want a smaller one, but. Okay guys, I am gonna go clean the art room. Um, and Jason and Mac are gonna hang out with y'all and I'll be popping in and out. So I hope you have a wonderful day. This is the area that I was telling Jason about. Um, so that thing. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> anyway, the, um, so that thing we're going to push backwards. This stuff here we're going to take out of the boxes and put into piles. All this stuff, like half of it, can be put in the pantry. And then the rest of it can just be kind of uh, stuck together. And Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. Yeah, anyway, we can stack that on top of each other to make it like look way easier. Or easier on the eyes. Yeah, it's an air fryer. We had um, we had an air fryer that was different than that, but it wasn't big enough. When and we it, had all the kids. Yeah, and so we gave that one to I think Jason and Lydia, mm -hmm. maybe, yeah. and then yeah. we got that new wave one, which is a little bit better one. It's also a rotisserie. I can do rotisserie chicken on it, and that is really good. We're actually almost done with the countertops. Um, all we need to do is take the stuff off, wipe it down, and it's good to go. And then while those are soaking, if you wanted to do the quick wipe downs on the cabinet doors, that would be an easy thing to do while they're soaking. And then we can jump into that and the kitchen will be almost done. I mean, basically once I got this stuff stacked, that's all the dishes there are. Oh, heck yeah. They were just so spread out everywhere that it looked like it was way worse than it was. <laughs> Grab Mr. Clean. I went out for it. <laughs> Alright, let me turn the camera around so I can talk to people and actually see what y'all are saying. Y'all. I'm a ways from Alton, Illinois. What's up, Debbie? <laughs> you come and spin kick the mouse that ran behind my cat. I'd send my cats up there, but they don't do any. They don't do anything like that. They're all lazy. Yes, um, Dakota does have a purple tail. Let me switch this around. So we took her to get groomed. And then they were like, um, hey, we, we gave you a surprise because Emily has multicolored hair. So we didn't even know they were going to do it. They just did it as a surprise. <laughs> I don't like steam cleaners, Raf. Let me turn this around. So steam cleaners are okay. For certain things like on tile they're great but the problem with steam is that it loosens glue and so anything that um, has glue on it like linoleum um, anything that's glued down to a counter it will actually melt the glue and cause that to fail it also in the types of houses that i clean it's turning mouse poop into mouse poop stew and that just grosses me out so steam cleaners are very specific in what you can use them on. Anything that's really hard and not wood, um, like wood will actually ingest the steam and swell up. And so you can ruin wood with steam cleaners. They're fine on stoves. They're fine on sinks, bathroom tile, things like that. But Advice for a hoarder getting self-started is start small, take crazy amounts of breaks like so many breaks that your parents would call you lazy like like 
I, on a hoarder house, on a really bad one, I would clean for like 10 or 20 minutes and then take an equal amount of break just to keep my head straight. But then if I'm going like crazy, I'll work 50 minutes and take a 10 minute break. That's kind of my standard. But in a really bad hoarder house, you need way, um, way more breaks than that. Also, yes, Tammy is right. So always start with the trasses. I don't play any video games right now. Um, I'm getting ready. They're getting ready to port Baldur's Gate 3 to PS5. So I want to do that. That's on September 6th. Um, my last video game that I played was Octopath Traveler 2. Before that, it was Stardew Valley. And I played a little bit of Horizon Forbidden West, but I just haven't gotten back into it yet. Jason, uh, Jason is the only smart one, smart cleaner. He's the one, he, that's why he wears gloves. <laughs> also, I couldn't find Mr. Clean, so I got vinegar for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, if you actually don't have Mr. Clean, I've got some in my car. Okay, yeah. Just the keys over there on that console. Yeah, I think I left my uh, Mr. Clean at the last house. In fact, there may be more than one bottle of that out there. Or actually here. Oh. It smells different, but we'll see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I know. That intercom mostly works. It's got an AM FM radio on it. And then um, there are speakers in like four different rooms of the house. One here, one in my office, one in each other bedroom, so three upstairs. There's one downstairs in my bedroom. There may be one some somewhere else, but it needs its like um, its contact points. Um, man, my brain's not working today. Cleaned up and like un uh, not cluttered, uncorroded. That's what I'm thinking of. I'm getting ready to take my meds for the day here in a minute. My brain will be like a little bit less cloudy. Yeah, the beard stroking is a stem. It's part of my autism. I'll do this, and then I'll do this with my knuckles, and I pop my knuckles a lot. Uh, there's actually all kinds of things I do to stem. Okay, I'm gonna flip you guys around here so you can watch Jason doing Jason stuff. <laughs> He's just wiping down cabinets right now because I'd spilled a bunch of tea and stuff on them and they haven't been wiped down in ages. That's not really good. Yeah, that's the gain scent. That's one of the ones they sent me um, whenever they gave me the free stuff. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, you'll see more of that wall color whenever we get into the living room. I made it an accent wall that goes across the whole room. And then I painted the trim white on the walls that are blue. And then the trim blue on the walls that are white. So that it has a positive negative effect. I don't really use Dawn Power Wash. Um... My APC works basically the same. ADHD and hoarding, um, I've found they often go hand in hand. It's not like every ADHD or is a hoarder, and not every hoarder has ADHD, but I've seen it more often than not. There was a breach in the gloves. <laughs> oh, man. That's fine. We're going to have a little bit of trouble getting all the trash out there, too, because it, the, my trash can's totally full. So, fortunately, the other trash cans that we've got um, are not food trash, so we can get them in maybe a contractor bag or something and then just put it beside the trash can and a note that says, you will take this extra trash bag or I will slap you open-handed right in your face lips, son. <laughs> and then they'll start crying, and you're like, don't. Don't even cry, just take my freaking trash bag. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so Emily may have mentioned it earlier. I will mention it again for anyone who wasn't in here. Um, the collaboration with Clean With Barbie is going to happen now. And also a beautiful mess will be there. Um, so it's going to be a collaboration between me, Clean With Barbie, a beautiful, a beautiful mess. It'll be uh, the first week of October. So we're going down the, or up there October 1st. And then Insider is coming down as in like Business Insider, is coming down to film us and interview me and get uh, do like a profile on us. It was originally going to be me, and then I invited Barbie in a beautiful mess because I think if anything gets eyeballs on their channels, that would be it. That would be like their best bet. So that is going to happen. the hell oh yeah she's cleaning the art room Don't you ever sneeze. Don't you ever dog sneeze. <laughs> I like living in a small town because there's not like any crime here. Now that's not to say all these towns don't have crime. The one that I grew up in is a, a small town like this one and it is nothing but crime. <laughs> Just like meth labs and like redneck mafia type crap and massive amounts of crime. Everybody is constantly looking to scam somebody else. You can't sleep with any doors unlocked. It's just a terrible, terrible place. Uh, the place that I live at is more like a, almost a retirement community. And it's just, I don't know, it's easy. It's quiet. do any crime here and you'll probably be the most known person in town <laughs> yeah pretty much uh vicky my house is four bedrooms and one and a half bathrooms we it, it was originally a uh, two bath and then we never used the downstairs shower so we just took it out um it's a tri-level house it's a mid-century modern uh, so the way the house goes is you walk in on a main floor, then it splits off and goes to an upstairs where there are three bedrooms and a bathroom, and it splits off downstairs where you have our bedroom, a bathroom, and a walk-in closet, and then this level is where the entryway, kitchen, and living room are. So suck it. Oh man, my back is kinked. Yeah, it's like my lower right back and my upper left neck. So it's on a diagonal. Hey. All right, let's um, find a way to do this uh, tripod so people can see what the hell we're doing. Or I guess you're still doing that, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Let me just... That hand. Sorry for the camera lanch. Jason does have his own channel, but I don't think he's quite started full-on streaming yet. Is that right? Not yet. I was going to say the um, channel is... Trying to figure out a good name is hard as well, but uh, in terms of streaming content, I think I have the stuff prepared. Like I can actually like I have signed on the twenty four hour thing, 
and I could start it today if I wanted to. Thing I'd like to get is like backdrop holder thing. Uh, Jason GR just got uh, an update mow. <laughs> they was like they didn't feel like mowing it for a while, so it got pretty hairy. <laughs> so they got it caught up like a couple days ago, oh, yeah. which was pretty good timing because the heat index here today is worse than I've felt it in many years. Yeah, because we did it on like the coolest day we've had in a while too. I think Emily calls her channel Midwest Magic Crafting. Um, I will end up putting a link to that at some point soon um, so that I can get her her first thousand followers so she can go live. Joanna, it is extremely muggy. Um, we've actually got heat warnings out. It's supposed to be 102 on Thursday with heat indexes that's going to push it into the one teens. Um, maybe even as high as 120. It's going to be really bad on Thursday. Yeah, we got central air. Almost all houses in our area uh, run on central air. Yeah, she'll be uh, crocheting on her channel. <laughs> Somebody asked, is Jason's channel Midwest Magic Crapping? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to step away for a couple while Jason's doing that. Yeah, my back is like, uh, I think I slept on it wrong and then it didn't help matters that I did all that garage and then I spent so much time on my feet the day we did the cookout. Oh yeah, that was insane. Um, some point in the very near future, I'm going to be restocking everybody's um, regular microfiber because we've had them for long enough to where they're just regular rags at this point. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to feel with some of these rags. Put this in the car. I gotta wash on my old ones too. I still haven't washed them. We should do an epic dance battle between J Team Jason and Team Phil. <laughs> I don't know how to dance, but I'll give it a try. Holy crap. Glad we don't have, like, outside jobs. This is for all the other trash cans in the house. Okay. And I left my, I think I left my car undone. We'll see. Just in case you need anything else. Oh, okay. Where do, there it is. Speaking of which.
Yeah, we've got a new shirt out that says clickbait on it, and then the mouse pointer is where the A should be. That one's starting to sell pretty good. I've wanted a clickbait shirt for a while. Oh, nice, Deanna. Yeah, it's a lot of people don't know that. They've become a fad lately because they think that steam cleaners are the best way to kill germs. But here's a tip not a lot of people know. Tap water is often enough to kill most bacteria because it has just enough chlorine in it and treatment in it to where it, it kills most bacteria on contact. So killing bacteria doesn't take a massive amount of really anything. Dish soap can kill bacteria. I mean, it's safer to use alcohol because that, that kills them on contact really easily and really quickly, so does bleach. But steam, to me, is just overkill. It's, it's really good if you've got a lot of built-in crud in crevices. Yep, that's Jason. I said crevices. <laughs> yeah, crack, crack. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> you don't have to scream crack at people to make friends. <laughs> or like you're canting tomatoes. <laughs> Get it? People keep trying to get me to learn Hank Hill, but I don't know his voice enough to do it. So the closest I can do just off a brief listen is a, uh, God dang it, Bobby. My camera stuff. Whoa. <laughs> There's something wrong with that boy. <laughs> and the other ones I can do is, um, Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here. And then Ernie's, which is not much different. It's, uh, hi-ho, Bert. Squares are neat shapes, Bert. <laughs> Billy Pop from Sling Blade. I think everybody did that one at one point. Yeah, French fried daters. Mm. Mm. Oh, and there's also the, uh, oh man, uh, Mr. Buzzcut from Beavis and Butthead. He's the drill sergeant. <laughs> the uh, Beavis and Butthead cannot laugh in class. <laughs> Do you understand me, Butthead? It's <laughs> probably one of my favorite episodes. Thank you, Terry. We have gained like 2,000 since then. Man, that's nuts. It's just going up and up and up.
sort of clay, clay thing. Oh. This thing here, I have no idea what that is. It's been there forever. <laughs> it's just in case. A humpy dance is your chance to do the hump. <laughs> hump do me, baby. like it was made to pop off your back. <laughs> Tip, if you're using multiple cleaners, I'm using this rag with this Mr. Clean. Whenever I'm done, I put it right on top of the cleaner and set it down so I don't mix it up with like APC. Or a lot of times we use color-coded rags, so this one would be for Mr. Clean, this one would be for APC. We'll just kind of keep it in our heads what rags are used with which thing. Alright, this countertop's done. If um, Clean Freak is too expensive for you, use just dish soap and water. Just mix it the same way you would when you're doing dishes. Maybe a tiny bit more powerful. It, there's a lot of suds involved with it, but it'll work. It just takes a little more effort. The only reason that I use Clean Freak or Mr. Clean at all is because it works really, really fast. So I use Mr. Clean to get off grease, oil, like grime and dirt. And then it's also really good for um, like stains. And then I use APC to sanitize and shine. In fact, you don't have to have actually like Mr. Clean's Clean Freak specifically. You can just get the gallon jug of regular old Mr. Clean. It works just as good. What did 
I do with my tea? Oh, there it is. Pull this down a little bit. Ha! Huh. You all got tripod snapped, son. Eat it. We're going to make an APC shirt shortly. Hi, Spazer Laser. Thank you, Muse. Are those still good? Are they squishy? No. Then yes. Cookout was great. We did hot dogs and hamburgers and brats, and then I made beef pinwheels. And... Um... Yes, Licky Tongue, I am the wife. We have pasta salad and chips and dip and... Tammy, this is our house. Uh, beef pinwheels are a thing uh, where you roll spinach and a specific type of cheese up into beef, like a steaky beef. Um, flank steak, flat iron, anything like that. Um, and you, they look like pinwheels when you cut it up, and then you grill them or pan fry them. That's really good. And you roll them into a tube like this, and cut them this way, and whenever you turn them over, they're shaped like cinnamon rolls or a spiral. So suck it. <laughs> The whole goal here is to unpile and to get um, stacked in an organized manner to where they're spread out and they're not piled upward. They're like um, they're piled like right angles and parallels. So just by doing this, it makes it look ten times cleaner, even though pretty much there's the same amount of stuff on it. How do you get your kids to help clean? Pay them. <laughs> <laughs> Dakota's just off camera, like, like right here. <laughs> okay. No, there's no fish in there. It is just plants. It's an old popcorn thing. That goes with the air fryer. I don't know. Yeah, oh look, more dog fur is accurate.
Thanks, Potato Farmer. That was a very kind comment, but not really. Yeah, can you ban people from? Yeah. Alright, this dude needs banned. He made a couple of not good comments about both me and Jason. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, Dixie's a mod. She's got the power to ban, or to ban. Should be another couple of them in here. Kind of scrolling up through real quick. Okay. Rotten yeah. spot is right. <laughs> yeah, what you'll do is you'll either click or tap or tap and hold, and it'll pull up a thing to where you put, they don't call it man, they call it hide this user from channel. Okay. I have, uh, Mac has some Deadpool Funko Pops. Um, I have Lance Bass, because he was my favorite growing up. Um, Stephen King, Prince, Bray Wyatt, um, The New Day, the wrestling group The New Day, and then a handful of characters from Game of Thrones. It's a new day. Yes, it is. Steven gets it. No stink, bud. You're fine. Okay. Beans actually is not afraid of the vacuum. Yeah, Jason's doing dishes off to the side. our house. What is your favorite spray mop? Uh, Bona. That's what I just used over here as a Bona. Bona better than a Swiffer, in your opinion? Yes, quite a bit. I'm his wife. My name's Emily. And yes, I'm younger than Mac. <laughs> it's a Midwest Magic Crafting, but it's not, like, a thing yet. And it's, a, it's there. You can follow. But I haven't done anything. God. I like to craft. I like to read. I like playing video games. I will probably be cooking dinner this evening. Have fun freezing corn. What is your favorite tool of all time for cleaning? Um, 
probably what's that? Mine will give a razor. Oh, uh, magic eraser. Yeah. Uh, a scraper, like a oh, razor. Oh, a scraper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, mine would probably be the actual cleaner, Mister Clean. It just makes everything way easier. I don't know if that was for garbage, but that I put that thing on the garbage. Um, microwaves you can pretty much just clean out with uh, dish soap and water. I use Mr. Clean, but I also follow it up with my APC, the alcohol-based stuff, because it gets rid of the smell and the chemical taste. But you can just use just a dish soap and, like, as you're doing dishes, just dip your rag in your dish water, wring it out, and then use that. Uh, Jenny, I do have a shirt of a dude spin kicking a um, a stove. Sorry, I'm trying to find some old school mods that have been around a while. Cindy K, you're now a moderator. What's up, Joe? Amy Bone, you are now a moderator. Mimos. Oops. Let me click on your name. It's not letting me click on your name, Memals. Memals, give me another message when you get a second. There you go. Homestead, you're now a mod. Uh, you can't, well, you can kind of slow down chat a little bit. What it basically does is it 
only allows people to do like a message every X amount of seconds. So it doesn't really slow down chat. It just prevents people from spamming. So I don't mess with it really. Okay, so this part over here is done. That part over there is done. You've already got cabinets or you still gotta do some? Uh, I got all the bottom cabinets. Okay, so you just need the top cabinets and then the rest of the dishes, right? And then yep. this room will be done. Yes. We still gotta sweep and mop, but we can wait on that until a little bit later because we're gonna have to like vacuum all the floors and crap. Every other room actually shouldn't be bad at all. This is like, was the worst room in the house. The rest of it just needs just regular everyday cleaning. Um, tip, whenever you're doing these, if they're wood, don't put them in the dishwasher or dishwater or dishwasher if you ever have one. The wood will absorb the water. So basically you just put it in a dry sink, grab your rag, wipe it down, rinse it off, and then immediately put it in, but don't soak them. Oh. Thank you. I mean, the, 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 actual, the actual real way to do that is you take a lemon, cut it in half, salt the board itself and then scrub it down with a salted lemon and that's um the acid from the lemon kills the germs and then the scent makes it smell better and it's all organic so you know you can eat off of it oh wow that's the way they do it in uh restaurants but i just do it with a rag for home yeah I, <laughs> good thing you told me because i would have soaked it <laughs> that up so they can see you wiping crap down yeah yes for those who have just come in and didn't hear the announcement earlier um, there's going to be a collaboration with myself clean with Barbie and a beautiful mess and business insider is flying down a videographer um, that'll happen on October 1st and we'll be cleaning in a different town about an hour and a half or two hours away from here um, the first week in October, they're going to do a profile on me and on the house cleanup. And then um, it's a very, very large hoarded house. Alice, thank you. How do you get the stank out of vacuum filters? Um, take all the filters out. There's more than one in most vacuums. There's your main one. Um, that everybody knows about, but there's usually some that's along the base. So look up a YouTube uh, video on your model and then either take that filter outside and like gently bang it on the ground to get all the crap out of it and see if that helps. If not, run baking soda through your vacuum. Or if not, usually those filters are actually fairly cheap. Just replace the filter. Yeah, she accidentally got the wrong one. She meant to get a filth shirt, and she accidentally got a Team Jason one. <laughs> no, I am Team Jason. There's still some cold water and soda in the thing in the garage if you get through the Oh, Peggy, this is my house. <clears throat> my wife is ADHD and we're giving her a clean slate and then we're going to start working on some routines for ADHD so that it's easier for her to maintain.
Lion, that's exactly the way I wanted it designed, so that's great that you say that. You said Team Jason's shirt looks like it was designed for the cover of Tiger Beat magazine. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Spazer, she is cleaning a house today, I think. Is today Wednesday or Tuesday or Monday? Monday. Today's Monday. Yeah, she's cleaning a house today. She actually should be here at some point soon. Yeah, I'm over 10 a.m. one. Suck it. <laughs> Speaking of Adrian, oh, yeah. he just threw her walk on the floor. <laughs> Espo, thank you. Uh, Emily reaches the top cupboard, cupboards by asking me to reach the top cupboards. <laughs> Blueberry. Yeah, I'm sneak vaping behind the camera while Jason cleans. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can go one better than the cupboards. <laughs> That's without tiptoes. I'll get on my tiptoes. I may see about cleaning Jason's garage this week, actually. I have to have another video for next week. Stink bug potato. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, I don't have a video for this weekend because we're getting ready to prepare to do a trip to Nashville. And I need something that I can do in a day that doesn't wreck my brain. So Jason's, Jason's garage would be a good one. What type of vape do I use? Uh, Geek Vape? It's shiny. At some point, we'll come to Alabama. <clears throat> At some point, we're going to come to, like, every state. We're going to start... Um, we're going to start traveling for a lot of these cleanups. Starting in October. Yeah, that stuff is bad for me. It's a lot better than cigarettes, though, which I smoked from age 13, clear up until my early 40s.
It'll be all states. Sue G, thank you. Meemaw, thank you. 25 bucks for travel expenses. We'll definitely put that to good use. Yeah, I got a hold of Cambria. She actually wasn't looking to message me. It was just like an old video, and she had mentioned me. Um, but I, we talk on Instagram and occasionally email. Patricia, thank you. Sorry, my voice sounds weird. I'm stretching my back. My back hurts. Yeah, you'll get complaints every once in a while. Let's see who. S. Dakota. Um, we do have complaints occasionally because humans are humans and they're going to miss stuff. Um, but never, we've only had a couple of them that I thought were overstaying their welcome as far as that goes. And I just got rid of those customers. Because there's legitimate complaints and then there's people who you know that who are just red flags. Mean old woman, thank you. Shoulder still hurts, but it's getting better. Be right back. I got to grab my meds. No, there's no way that I'm going to Miami. That's like all the way across the country for me. Yeah, but she donated that with aggression. So she still gets to keep uh, the mean moniker. She's like, eat this $10! Okay, why don't you take a break and shoot the crap with people. I'll flip this around. My habit is always to hit that button down there. Here's my beard. I've actually got to put that up. <laughs> doing well how are you <laughs> when's the ham slap coming Am I collabing too? No, it is during a busy work week. <laughs> Why am I washing dishes in slow motion? So I don't break anything or <laughs> just taking my time. Okay, so basically, we just got like two loads of dishes left, then the floors. But we can wait on the floors to last. Then I'm going to take you guys into the living room real quick. See if I can do this without taking things off of the, uh, the tripod. Flip. I said flip the camera. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Alexa, living room. Okay. 
So we've got this mess to clean up. Basically, a lot of vacuuming, wiping down. Um, you see that basket of toys over there? Half of those are going. They don't play with them. We're going to keep the ones they play with, and the rest are going elsewhere. This pile of stuff back here is going to get fixed. Um, other than that, it's just dusting and vacuuming. Yeah, they're all kind of being lazy. Got get hold on let me take you out of this tripod so i can actually carry you around oh no no one wants bixby ever my god i'm surprised that's still a thing on your phone <laughs> they let you uninstall it <clears throat> there's dusty 